Today on Toy Shoes, grab those cereal bowls and milk. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, it comes courtesy of my friends over at Plastic Meatball. We're taking a look at their brand new Kellogg's inspired cereal mascots featuring Tony the Tiger. He's great. <laughs> So this video is going to go. But you can see, yes, very Kellogg's inspired in that more 4 inch, 3 and 3 quarter inch sort of style. Much like the new Marvel 375s, right? You got Storm meets Tony the Tiger. And on the back side, you get a nice photo of all the figures. And something I really like because that's what you would find on a cereal box. A little milk maze. So you can help Tony the Tiger Find some milk for the cereal. And then we're going to follow our nose over to Toucan Sam. He's got his own action figure as well. Really nice bright colors. Although Toucan Sam, a little shading around his eyes. Look a little haggard right there. <laughs> and he's got a puzzle on the back as well. Connect the dots to reveal Toucan Sam. Go figure, right? And then last but not least, we have uh, Diggum Frog, who... I. <laughs> Can't remember anything about this guy except that he was just, uh, he, had, he was trying to get kids smack, so, smacks, honey smacks. And at one time, I think they were weird looking, and the kids were like, oh no, they're actually pretty good. He was jumping around, he had to get his honey smacks from a bunch of people that are trying to, everyone always just trying to steal cereal from these mascots. That's all I remember about this frog, <laughs> basically. But he's got the draw, dig him, you gotta complete the picture as well again very fun very cool i'm excited to check these out so sit back relax and i'm just gonna say probably grab yourself a bowl of cereal right maybe milk almond milk oat milk depending on uh, you know the situation with that make sure you got a good spoon a color changing spoon this is a look at the brand new kellogg's cereal mascots dig em frog toucan sam and tony the tiger by plastic meatball and of course, here's all of them cereal mascots taken out of the packaging and nice bright colors and not necessarily characters that you would expect to see action figures of, but it's surprisingly refreshing at the same time. Kicking it off with Diggum Frog. Again, nice bright colors. It says Diggum, nice lettering, nicely done. It's got peg holes on the bottom of the feet. In fact, all of these characters do so if you need to stand for him you can definitely do that he's got his little hat he's got some reds he's got some oranges the greens little frog freckles right there he'll twist at the head and then his arms will go up and down and then his legs as well so again very simplistic articulation but done in more of that three and three quarter inch old-fashioned articulation much like toucan sam which he's one of my favorites to be honest if all these cereals i'm fruit loops guy <laughs> <laughs> if I have to eat them. Truth be told, I mean, I'm Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries. But, yeah, different company, right? We can't uh, be discussing that. But he's very cool looking. And I love the colors on this guy. He's got a point in hand right here. This side, I understand it's how a bird would tuck his hand, right? Okay, I get that. But, translating it wise, it looks like his hand's all broken. You know what I mean? I get it. But at the same time... In the plastic sense, it just kind of looks like he's injured. You know what I mean? Like, oh man, those kids were too rough taking my Fruit Loops or whatever. But I really like the colors on his beak. That really stands out. Large beak on this guy. The feet will actually articulate. So that's cool. The arms, the head. Yeah, it's pretty well done. Toucan Sam. And then finally, Tony the Tiger. He's the largest. And he's got some nice oranges, stripes. His Tony right there on his red bandana again peg holes on the bottom of the feet with the uh, plastic meatball logo i definitely like that little touch right there he's got a tail that articulates he's actually a little bit lighter orange than the camera is picking up so he is spot on the face the face is nice right all of these characters look exactly like what they're supposed to look at but the white paint for his face is a little bit muddled kind of muddles with some of the black and the blue paint so it's not expertly it's not as crisp as I would hope. But the head, the arms will go up and down and turn around and then you can move his legs as well. And he's got some tail articulation. So that is pretty cool. Overall, I'm happy with these. These are actually a lot of fun. They'll make for some great photography coming soon. That's for sure. But if you think about it in terms of scalage, 
I mean, yeah, they're all pretty much in scale. The frog would be the smallest, followed by the bird, followed by the giant man-eating, I mean, cereal-eating tiger. And in scalage with Marvel 375s, they're actually, I mean, let's say Tony the Tiger, he's the tallest one, but they're all out of a scale with, say, like humans and stuff. You'd expect these characters to be smaller, like with the Super 7 Reaction Turtles figures, McFarlane toys, you get to see the scaling on how big these characters are marvel legends as well so again yeah you can have some fun I think the larger the characters are the more fitting that these serial mascots would be <laughs> to be honest with you i mean heck even old toy biz five inch that might be more in the realm you know more fun or heck you know the thing takes on the serial mascots form and then you got mccready he's got to burn his way out right he's not going to be sitting down with any cereal that's for sure. One nitpick, I will say, is that I would have loved to have seen some accessories, maybe even just little accessories of their own cereal, maybe a bowl of cereal or a spoon or something, because that would have been kind of cool for me. But in either sense, they're pretty well done overall. And so that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new plastic meatball Kellogg's Cereal Mascots Wave 1 figures. Which is your favorite out of these? For me, it's definitely Toucan Sam. Definitely like a cereal. Honey Smacks, yeah, those were good. I remember those back in the day. Frosted Flakes goes either way. I'd rather much have Frosted Mini Wheats. But in terms of toys, I think they're really well done. I think they're a lot of fun. And you can grab these on the PlasticMeatball.com site. I'll put a link in the description below. And I do think that they're reasonably priced for this type of character serial mascot it's going to apply for a certain type of collector where i think this would be right up their alley so i would say yeah i think you'll definitely be stoked especially with the whole retro vibe this gives off it's very cool in fact this is something years ago i would have totally expected to find at the bottom of my cereal box right but I am curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything cereal mascots and cereal. What's your favorite cereal to have every morning? And thank you again to Plastic Meatball for sending these over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, uh, yeah, I did go and do all the puzzles on the back, of course. Who do you think I am, right? Look at I got Tony his milk, boom, he's got his milk, and I uh, figured out, yes, this was, in fact, Toucan Sam, drew him pretty good, uh, dig him frog, though, however, uh, yeah, he's seen better days, <laughs> and when you do, let me know what you found, I'll talk to you guys soon, adios.